Hey there everyone, I'm Airman First Class Jasmine Vander Hayden with your look around the Air Force. A 40-year-old safety standard for Air Force ejection seats gets an update as the 418th Flight Test Squadron tries out a new parachute canopy for the Advanced Concept Ejection Seat 2, or ACE-2. Testers are collecting data on the GR-7000 parachute, a proposed replacement for the current C9 canopy used in the ACE-2. The GR-7000 is designed to handle greater weight ranges for pilots, as well as providing a slower rate of descent and oscillation. For the past several weeks, testing has consisted of 10 dummy drops, 20 live person drops, and 5 drops using a crosswind deployment cylindrical test vehicle, which resembles an inert bomb. Roughly 80% of the qualification testing has been completed. Squadron revitalization teams visited Scott Air Force Base, Illinois, as part of an Air Force-wide initiative. The visits are driven by airmen to identify areas of improvement and provide opportunities to discuss constructive ideas that would be applicable to all squadrons. The effort is a four-phase process, which includes studying the prior climate, sending surveys, in-person interviews, and a web-based platform allowing airmen to submit insights into current challenges and possible solutions. Three substantial changes are coming to the Air Force's developmental special duty process to include opening military training instructor opportunities to staff sergeants, reverting the technical training instructor process for three-level awarding schoolhouses back to Equal Plus, and lowering the physical training score for all DSD and TT1 positions to 75 points. Developmental special duty qualifications are outlined in the special duty catalog. More information about the changes can be found on the MyPERS website. For more on these and other stories, check out af.mil. And that's your look around the Air Force.